Hey honey bunches, it's Phoebe. Welcome back to another What I Ate in a Week. I'm um, coming up to being six years vegan now. Not that I think about that very often at all and the week I'm filming this is a snippet into me making another cookbook but hopefully my first cookbook that will be properly published but I'm not holding out, I'm just, that's the aim. Um, there's going to be 75 recipes or more um, but it's a slow, long, bloody arduous process so you don't obviously get to see um, a massive swab of all them. Swab? Slab? Chunk. Okay, I had my usual usual acai blueberry smoothie. I had a bit of a funny tummy on Monday so I was just using up some kombucha in water and then this slice is meant to be sort of a mix between all the yum like Ferro Rocher, Kinder, Hazelnut, Creamy um, chocolates um, and it doesn't look great but I was just testing the flavours. They're gonna be cups in the end. This is a cashew brie or camembert that I was finally really happy with the flavours and I made in my recipe testing morning some sticky sausages over lentils and they were, those were some marinated cabbage wedges. Um, then for lunch I'd made a konomiyaki on the weekend that isn't made with like a bought vegan egg product, it's made with an egg you blend with tofu and different flours, all gluten free, it's really really good, so happy with that one. Uh, snacked on more of that slice. Uh, after lunch and some more of the cheese which I was having cold and even cold it was bloomin brilliant how would I do recipe tested in the morning for dinner with some broccoli and then it was father's day on the Sunday before this Monday and so we had some little raw vegan slices we had bought for that occasion that we were gobbling down through the week made with medjool dates and nuts and stuff same smoothie for breakfast then I snacked on, I made some marinated tofu feta and there was some pesto on those toasts as well. I was trying a different version of some blondies but I wasn't happy with these. Actually the first time I made them I was much more happy with them. This is Kakang Pool, a Singaporean really comforting beanie stew with a vegan egg on the side. The vegan egg is something I've definitely mastered for this cookbook. I'm really happy with so many vegan egg centered things. Okay, ignore the like clumps of brown stuff, that's lentils and leftover kakung pool. But these tacos were crunchy cauliflower and then some random other ingredients including fried onion. But boom and heck, they were so good. I'll put them on the blog because they're a bit too random for the cookbook. Um, had some more of that slice. Then Wednesday I switched to millet porridge, which is a great gluten free porridge base alternative, but it's annoyingly so expensive for the flakes. So I only work my way through a bag every once in a while. Um, lunch was some veggie gyoza and some flatbread with falafel, this Indian falafel and vegan feta. I think I went for a bike ride hence I look a bit naked there. <laughs> and when I got back I had one of those slices and I also had a snack of some basil pesto and vegan cheese on a bit of gluten free Turkish bread. Then we had just a very homey dinner of these Indian sausages, which you've seen before, and some gluten-free garlic bread. Both of those things are from Coles, roast pumpkin, broccoli. Great thing about the Indian sausages, I think they've changed the recipe, so they no longer leave this like uncleanable sticky residue on your fry pan, which is just awful. <laughs> um, so would recommend them more so now. Same breakfast, then this soup. Oh, it's a cannellini bean soup. It looks really simple, but it has this like parsley pesto in it and so much garlic and it was hot. That's why I'm tearing up, but it was so comforting and it's one of my favorites in the book and punchy. Just wow. I'm so impressed. I was tasting some Cuban uh, quotation marks. Honey, roasted carrots, had that soup for lunch. Uh, some snacked, oh, speak Phoebe, snacked on some of those raw vegan slices afterwards. Tasted a spaghetti pie that I'd made and then dinner was this cauliflower cake and roasted carrots. The cauliflower cake is a vegan version of an Ottolenghi recipe and it couldn't be more identical. It's so good. You would not know it's vegan egg in it at all. Had the same breakfast. Looks like I had a bowl, another bowl of that soup for morning tea and then lunch was Oh yeah, I'd made these cauliflower bean little falafels and leftover cauliflower cake and roast carrots and salad. I'd made some pumpkin spiced walnut muffins, so I had one of them and I had the spaghetti pie for dinner, which doesn't look like much I know, but <laughs> the presentation is the only thing I really um, need to fix because it tastes as good as and it's inspired by the spaghetti pie in the film Waitress. Saturday, another bowl of porridge. It's just a really good breakfast um, for a morning of recipe testing. I don't get hungry mid-morning. Um, these are some stuffed mushrooms inspired by ones for apparently what they serve at Olive Garden in the US but they have artichokes in them and capers and they're really good. There's some Greek roast taties, more cauliflower cake, salad 
Uh, we're doing a Zoom call before dinner, so we ate some guacamole and corn chips. And then afterwards, this looks so sad. I know if I had stuffed mushrooms and spaghetti pie, but it was delicious. Um, just a lot of eating up the same thing when you're recipe testing. I had porridge for brekkie on Sunday, a pumpkin muffin for morning tea, and then I think this was like pesto, avocado, tomato toasts for lunch. I made a strawberry crepe layer cake that I was photographing. So that's it in the fridge. Uh, corn chips as a snack before dinner. And then this is so good. It's like a tofu mornay or crispy tofu with a creamy caper dill lemon sauce, which I don't know if that makes sense to you, but it it's so good and you have it over rice and we had some cauliflower as well definitely could have been more greens in this week um but yes we just don't buy enough that's a recurring thing in our house uh and had some strawberry cake for dessert and it's so strawberry it like punches you in the face it's so good um and that was everything thanks for watching honey bunches hope that was fun to see what i've been up to Hope you're doing well, and I'll see you in the next video, I suppose. Okay, bye!